Through her knowledge, she cast a beautiful geological spell on us. She was like the Beyonce of like collections management. <laughs> But I, so I feel like also she would probably like scowl at me and be like, oh, Beyonce. <laughs> so like, maybe she was, she liked Elvis. So maybe she was like the Elvis of collections. This is her tiara and it's really appropriate to her personality, not only because it's a glittery mineral and minerals were her favorite collection, but she also was the queen of the Academy collections. Jean DeMuth was the Senior Collections Manager of Geology for 44 years at the California Academy of Sciences. She started in 1973 and she told her supervisor that if he hired her, he was not going to get rid of her. First and foremost, Jeannie was a geologist and she loved rocks. And you can see the cubes on this one better. I love rocks too, it's something difficult <laughs> to understand. It's not just the look of rocks, and Jeannie loved minerals. For most people, when you see a mineral, you see a gem, you see the visual nature of it. But we also think about how it was formed, why it was formed, where and when it was formed. Jeannie would love even the chemical composition of these things. Jeannie also really loved specimen care. She was very, very passionate about how to take care of materials. If you wanted to know how to do it right in collections management, you went to Jean DeMuth. To this day, I will quote Jeannie's opening line to people. As a senior collections manager here at the Academy, my job is basically to worry. Such a short sentence, and yet it shows her dedication and her commitment and her willingness to do whatever she needs to do to make sure that the collections are safe and protected and usable as long as possible. She was never afraid to ruffle feathers, and that's a really important aspect to have in collection. Jean was a very strong, <laughs> rather feisty collections advocate. She was a badass. <laughs> Jean was, to me, always a bit of a breath of fresh air. She didn't mince words. She told just straight up exactly how she felt about something, and quite often, she was right. One thing I'm really gonna miss about her was her fierce and unapologetic nature. It made her a lot of friends. She kind of scared the crap out of me at first, but I grew to know her as a very warm, personable human being who cared deeply for the Academy and for the people that she was working with. She always made sure that there were reasons to celebrate, and especially birthdays. Jeannie had a lot of really wonderful points, but her cake baking skills um, were always uh, a little suspect. She was the one who first came up with the happy birthday dirge. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. A lot of people have come to the Academy bringing all kinds of stuff, thinking that they knew positively that they were dinosaur eggs or meteorites or moon rocks. Graciously, she would explain why it wasn't. She really wanted to explain to them and teach them what the things that they had were. No matter what you see in the movies, nobody goes out and just picks up a fossil. She was an amazing teacher and treated everyone with respect. If someone asked me like for the 50th time about a certain shell on the beat, I try to channel Jeannie that everybody's question is important and to answer it with the same enthusiasm to see the natural world through other people's eyes and share that excitement. She was really one of the guiding forces behind the gem and mineral exhibits that we had in the original building and then in this building. And it shows the care, the artistry. It's a fabulous glimpse into Jean's intellect and her whimsy and her love for her collection. And it also stands as this reminder of the love that we all have for Jean. She really loved sharing the collections with other people. She's just so important for keeping this place honest, like what this place is about, exploring the natural world and understanding it and keeping collections so that we can understand it forever. 
she saw a great need and utility of the collections to help people understand the world around them, to better understand nature and our place in it. She'll just be so missed. Hey, turkey, back off. <laughs>